Hey everybody, welcome back to H Zoned. Let's just go ahead and get this thing started. Heretic, uh, H Zone, and Hellhouse.wad. And since we've had pretty good success with this, let's just try this. There we go. Hellhouse by Dan Reams. Description First game, first level of registered version of Heretic. Additional credits to all the boys at id and the developers of Do, Hue, and BSB for giving BSP for giving me and many others the chance to use our imaginations. You know, I'm noticing that a lot of people don't seem to credit Raven for making Heretic. Oh, that's crazy. A little weird. So, game, Heretic, E1M1, single player, should not be attempted alone. No, 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 no. We'll see about that. Cooperative 2 to 4 player, yes. Deathmatch 2 to 4 player, most definitely. Difficulty settings 4. I'm going to assume yes. New sounds, graphics, music, no. Demos replaced, no. Level exit, yes. Oh, that's good. That's a good feature. New level from scratch, Hue and BSP. None bugs, none. 80 plus hours. I just couldn't leave it alone. Wad size, 118k. Lots of detail. Note, because of the detail in this level, it might not be playable on anything less than a 486.66 with with 8 megabytes of RAM. I, I think we're slightly exceeding that, but uh, I'll keep that in mind. Alright, now, without further ado, let's go ahead and play some Hell House. Oh, hello. Hello, hot start. Let's go ahead and grab this shield here. This is a lot of sh oh jeez, this is a lot of shit to take out with just a wand. We got a bunch of flame orbs, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Can we go back in here? No. All right, so we're just gonna have to basically just duck and weave while everything piles out of that room, I suppose, uh, and just kind of punch our way through all this stuff. Uh, okay. More flame orbs. Uh, ooh, Tome. That is quite welcome. Thank you very much. And considering how well the uh, wand gets boosted, yeah, let's just go ahead and start clearing some guys out, shall we? Honestly, it's one of those things where you don't really think to use the the wand all that much, but I mean, with the Tome of Power, it's actually pretty badass. I mean, it only takes one ammo for all this, too, which is, um... I mean, most weapons, like the uh, Dragon Claw, that's pretty decent when you use the Tome on it. However, the problem is, it, uh... Ow. The problem with the Dragon Claw and some weapons like that is that a lot of times... Oops. They'll use multiple shots or multiple ammo per thing, and, uh... Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Ooh, crossbow. Thank you kindly. Oh, should have grabbed that health up there. Oh well. Let's go ahead and just bring ourselves up to 100. I was kind of notorious for not using, like, any items in my Heretic playthrough, so let's try to be better about that, shall we? Okay, more ammo. I tried to get some of that earlier and got bounced out of it. Oh, open doors. That's kind of cool. Nice little, uh, touches there. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure this would have run on a low-end 486 that much of a problem, to be perfectly honest. It's not, like... I mean, I wasn't expecting, like, you know, Sunder levels of detail, but, you know. This is probably above average in terms of wads at the time, third-party wads anyway, but, uh... Yeah, it's nothing too out of hand. Ooh, wow. I actually didn't mean to go up there just yet. Oh, jeez, and the time I did... Alright, there we go. I didn't even need the thing. That's the best part about it. Ooh, bag of holding. Yay. Even more ammo that I don't need. They are being very generous with the ammo. Which is one thing I say. I will say that Raven was often not. I really wish I knew where all these flame orbs were... What they were... That. Oh, there we go. I mean, it doesn't use flame orbs, but I'll take it. <laughs> right. So, 
Let's go ahead and use this weapon for a little bit. Medieval plasma rifle. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, be kind of waste on these guys, though. <laughs> Unless RNG really doesn't cooperate. Which it wasn't. So, yeah. Only six enemies left. I see you down there. Can I... Hmm. Well, let's just tickle you to death since you're stuck there. Poor guy. I'm gonna think. If the person cared enough to test and make sure that you worked properly, you specifically, you wouldn't have been stuck as cannon fodder. You and your brother. Sad. I kind of think I'm right on a block map edge, though, because look at that. Half of them are passing right through them. Let's try to aiming towards the left side. There we go. Oh, block map. You are necessary but horrible. Right, there we go. Also, apologies if you hear uh, fireworks in the background. They're pretty quiet from where I am, but yeah, you never know. Ah, good stuff. Oh, Phoenix Rod. That would have been useful. Yeah, well, it's all good. So I'm assuming we need to go down here. Oh, hello. Found the last guy. He did. All right. Well then. So we've got this over here. We've got teleport sparks that actually work. Okay. There was also another teleporter that I remember seeing. It was over this way? Yeah. Okay. Well then. So is there actually a way into that sewer section? Or were those guys just in there for no reason? I mean, there's this here. Is that the actual exit switch? Or is that just an exit switch? Never really know. Either way, it looks like... Oh, my bad. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they, they didn't stand a chance. Poor guys. Oh, nice. Mmm, good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and assume... I mean, we have everything anyway. Okay, yeah, that was the exit switch. Okay, well that was... Um, oh my gosh, what's the name of this thing? Shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever the name of the wad was, you'll see it in the thumbnail, and in the video title, and if you rewind. <laughs> anyway, that one wasn't bad. Um, I would say the author's claim about, uh, needing multiple people is maybe a little bit overstated. Of course, at the time, it would have been pretty overwhelming. And not to mention that beginning is a bit of a rush if you don't manipulate the enemy's movement a little bit and kind of get them out of the way, but, yeah, it wasn't bad, it was actually kind of fun to play through look decent the uh, level of detail I mean again you know wasn't <laughs> I think they kind of overstated the system requirements a bit because that's basically like saying you'd need a Duke 3d capable system to run this which uh, yeah maybe not so much but you know at the same time what's the guy gonna do tests on everything from a, a 386 to a Pentium yeah probably not but, yeah, I mean, as far as, like, wads we play on this series, that was pretty damn detailed. I mean, I came fairly, like, reasonably close to, like, a Raven map, more or less. So, yeah, that one was good. Short, didn't overstay its welcome. It generally made sense, aside from that exit switch. That was a little bit, uh, a little suspect, but, yeah, what you gonna do? So, yeah, two good ones this week. I, you know, really can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.